Turning now to our commitment coverage, there are 13 days left until Election Day. Leading into November, we've been checking in with the local county registrar offices. And this morning, we are joined live by Donald Linder with Stanislaus County. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So what's your uh, top priority right now? Right now, uh, per election code, we're processing vote by mail ballots that we're receiving uh, currently. That is the first um, results that you receive on election night at eight o'clock. So we want as many as possible. We try to um, process those the day we receive them so that uh, those results can be included. All right, so folks clearly sending their ballots in and you're counting those ballots. When can folks actually come and vote in person? When does the poll open officially for you? So in Stanislaus County, we will have six vote centers throughout the county that will open this Saturday, October 26th. And then the rest of our vote centers, um, 32 of them will open on next Saturday, um, November 2nd. So people can go vote in person, register, um, re-register, get a replacement ballot, use an accessibility machine. Um, there's facsimile ballots of our other languages, Khmer, Punjabi, and Syriac, also located at all of our vote centers throughout the county. Okay, we always talk about the folks who are casting their ballots, but uh, I imagine this is one of those uh, operations that involves a lot of volunteers. Are you still looking for folks to help out? Unfortunately, our training is complete for our volunteers. We do have quite a few volunteers this year, and um, our actual vote centers, um, when you check in and things like that, that is a part-time staff person, so we have done all that training. All right, do folks need to bring in anything when they uh, come and vote in person? Uh, no, they do not. Uh, per California law, you do not have to show your ID, but they will be asked to fill out a form with their information and um, sign that so that we can verify that they have not previously voted. All right, so if anybody else has any additional questions, uh, where are you sending them? We have our website at standvote.gov or they can call our office 209-525-5201 and their voter information guide has a wealth of information also. Donna, thank you so much for your time and best of luck counting all those ballots. Thank you so much for having me.